morning guys, it's not the best of mine this morning. Woke up with a hell of a stomach ache. Um, I think that's due to a, a drink that I had last night that had loads of prostatis in it. Um, and also uh, went to have a shower, got up nice and early. Um, went to have a shower and there's no water. So I woke up about half seven and there's nobody in reception that speaks English and someone that comes speaks English is in at nine. So yeah, that's an hour and a half just completely wasted. Um, so yeah, not a very happy bunny this morning, but I'm sure that um, I'll be okay. But um, yeah, the uh, hostel sort of like, it's a lot of different hostels run out of the same reception. Like the, the reception, it's all like a, an apartment uh, building and the reception's on like one floor and all the hostels are on different floors. Um, so yeah, hopefully one of the other ones is okay. I'm gonna go and use the shower in one of the other ones. Um, but yeah, it's just terrible because the, the Wi-Fi is terrible and now the showers don't work, so it's just it's not good at all. It's just me feeling ill, <coughs> completely peaked. I was fine on the train, it was there going to um, the station and I got off and the heat just hit me and I just had to go and throw up literally. I tried everything and it wasn't going away and it peaked and yeah. I feel so much better now. I'm so much better. I was feeling so so crap. So yeah, it's uh, it's nice to have a tactical, tactical chunk of, especially if it helps uh, how you feel. I just got to make sure that I uh, eat properly now and uh, drink loads. So, but it's a shame I didn't do it at the hospital because now it's got that sick feeling in my uh, mouth. But I'll just, uh, have to drink a load of water and eat a load of stuff to try and get rid of the taste. So. But in case you didn't read the titles, I'm probably going to title it where I'm going anyway. Is I'm going to Disneyland in Hong Kong. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I love Disneyland, like Disney World. It's absolutely amazing. It's such a good atmosphere there. So, that's another thing I didn't want to go there and just feel crap all day. Just take, take away the thing from me. So, um, yeah, it was, it was good to. And now I feel perfect. Like I don't feel ill at all. So, yeah, let's go to Disneyland. Size Disney, uh, Disneyland. I don't know if any of you guys have been to uh, Disney World or Disneyland in Paris, but walk around the corner and I'm a little bit disappointed, I have to say, to see that's the castle. <laughs> uh, but I didn't take away from the magic. So, but yeah, it's just so funny. I just walked around the corner and saw it and just laughed out loud. It's so funny. That's one way to sort out whether you're feeling sick or not. <laughs> Pitch black uh, roller coaster. Um, but yeah, I don't think any of that came out, just pitch black in there. But it's so much fun. It makes me laugh because there's people getting fast passes, and the fast pass queue is longer than the actual queue, so it's quite funny. And also, um, I. Uh, uh, not, not. I went because I'm by myself, I've got a single rider queue. So I just went in there and literally walked straight onto a roller coaster without any stopping. So, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> so funny, but uh, it's great to be back in Disneyland. There's no way I am going on that ride with that annoying song playing over and over and over. If you've ever been to Disney and you've been on that ride, it's a small world, you know exactly what I mean. It's quite funny, it was in China. Um, you road sweeping trucks, play the jingle for it. Like, just, oh. The first time I heard it, I was like, what? Why are they playing? It's a small world. But, uh, yeah, I am not going on that ride. So, for the, for the river cruise, uh, English have their own line. So, that's a bonus. Hey, everybody, remember? I, everybody, don't jump over my boat, right? Because here, Malaco has to. I'm gonna see the hippo. Don't jump over my boat, so you can see him. You see? There's this little girl on there, and she was so scared at the end. Bless her. Oh. 
it's nice and refreshing there for these little areas where you can come and cool down in like a mist and then some water. <laughs> so yeah, heading around to more rides now. So it stopped the ride and told me off because I uh, recorded on the ride. So, yeah, I managed to stay on though, he just took the camera off me. I think the uh, staff here kind of lack the uh, magic of Disney. Um, so that was just the way that the uh, Chinese or the Asians are. But yeah, just don't get the same sort of whole experience feel as sort of like the other business. Um, but they're still good though. Because of a uh, rustic air this morning, um, I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, I woke up during the night and then I get back to sleep again as well, so I didn't really help things. So I'm really tired. I don't think that's helping uh, me feeling ill. Um, so yeah, I. Uh, I'm going to stand on the bench in the shade and uh, well, I actually laid on the bench and had a little snooze for uh, probably in about 20 minutes. It's a little thing that <laughs> made me feel so much worse. I'm quite considering going back to the uh, hostel. But I really want to stay for fireworks. Um, there's another six and a half hours until the fireworks. So I reckon if you come here during the week, um, like out of uh, school holidays you could probably get it done in about you probably get come here for about four and have and ride every single ride at least once um, ready for the fireworks at eight half eight uh, no problem at all it's uh, absolutely tiny this place the problem with it there's a problem with it being so quiet um, this one's like a light snack sort of thing I don't want to eat too much. Um, you get a lot of hot dogs and popcorn and stuff like that. I just want a lot of course and fries. And like, you can't just get fries on its own. All the restaurants you have to order a set menu. Um, so yeah, I've got loads of little uh, like cafe stores that probably would sell them. But they're all closed. That's the problem with being so quiet and uh, out of uh, school time sort of thing. So I'm pretty sure I saw one open somewhere, but I can't exactly remember where. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to walk around to find it now. And the parade starts in about 25 minutes, so I don't know what's that. Um, but yes, I don't want anything like too thick and brittle because I've got like, sandwiches and pastries and stuff, but I don't want enough to uh, like filling. It's not a light sort of something. Okay, so I'll opt for some popcorn um, just because it's the only thing that I really fancy. Um, sitting here waiting for the parade, I found a bit of shade, it's nice. Um, so yeah, it's waiting for the parade, it's about 10 minutes and it's going to start. So, yeah. see myself staying here for another five hours I mean I've done everything you know it's and that's a very slow like time that I've spent doing it so I can't really do it all again and take my time I spent an hour of that uh, laying on the bench so yeah so I'm gonna head back to the hostel if I would have known it was a small um, I probably would have came in the afternoon like about now um, and just slowly went around the park and that would allow me to like, get up at a decent time and like, allow me to get a four night's sleep. Um, yeah, the, the parade is going down Main Street now, um, so I'm just waiting for that to clear. 
because I don't really don't want to have to like, bark my way through people to get out. So yeah, it's going to sit in the shade until it's gone and then head back to the hostel. Okay, so I've got my hand stamped um, just in case I decide to come back. Um, it's a possibility for tonight. Um, I don't get here till before 8 and I'll be able to see the uh, night parade and the uh, fireworks. So yeah, it's a possibility, but it takes like an hour to get back to the hostel and obviously an hour to get back here as well. So we'll see. But I'm going back to the hostel, I think I'm going to have an afternoon nap. Um, yeah, and then see what time I wake up really. Okay, guys, I've been asleep for about six hours now. I still feel terrible. Not sure if I've got food poisoning or don't know what it is really. Can't seem to keep anything down. But, um, yeah, so hopefully I'll feel a little bit better tomorrow. I mean, I don't feel that bad, I just feel sick constantly. So, yeah, I've got a headache as well, but I think that's just dehydration, just where I'm not taking anything down. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to see how I feel tomorrow. I did have some stuff booked for tomorrow. I might have to cancel it depending on how I feel and just spend the day in bed because um, I'm going to Vietnam the day after that. So, yeah, we'll have to see how I feel. Um, but, yeah, I'll say goodnight now, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.